what is going on guys it is Chris Hunter here today and as you can see I'm on my fire so um, I'm gonna be bringing you guys some PvP today and before we get into it I'm gonna show you guys my uh, gear some stuff that I've been changing up for the hat um, officially we're gonna go with the desert traders shroud uh, the crafted hat from the sardonics the robe unseen lord cinder plate crafted block boots uh, we're going to use the War Axe on my fire, just because um, in the last PvP episode we did for my fire, uh, his power pips were very, very bad, so as I was working with my stats, I incorporated the War Axe just because of the 9% power pip chance, and uh, you know, everything else is pretty good on him. Um, I, my Storm uses this one, so I decided to uh, go ahead and give it to my fire for now, uh, so that's that. Edge of the Shadow Web from Morganth. We're going to use Morgan Stark Charm, Alpha and Omega Ring. My pet is the one thing that I'm still working on. Um, it's I'm, I'm working on it very, very much right now. Uh, we got a, an adult pet that's uh, doing pretty good right now. It's got a pain giver and spell proof right now, so hopefully it works out good. If not, you know, we're just going to keep hatching. But for now, we're going to be using uh, Gizmo here. So, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and make sure my right deck is on, it is, and um, yeah guys, I'm going to go ahead and get us a match, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we have got a match against uh, Daniel Troll, PvP Warlord. Uh, he's using Waterworks Hat, so he might be a, um, a lower level facing me as a private, higher level. Just the way that the system works, uh, we'll, we'll check. Yeah, he does not have Shadow Magic, uh, and he is an Ice with uh, well, low health for what a level 100 would have so I think what we're gonna try and do here is one shot him in strike mode uh, but we want to suppress him from healing if we do decide to start uh, link spamming so first round I think I'm just gonna infection him guys uh, we got a good pretty good hand so uh, yeah I'm expecting him to have very good resist playing defensively and then yeah his minion he's gonna be incorporating that a lot so uh we're gonna go on, we're gonna want to go ahead and kill that minion um, pretty soon here so I think I'm gonna just elf it uh, minions guys are very very reliable I think the main minions actually is fire and ice I really do like the fire and ice minions um, they spam a lot of stuff and uh, for a low level it's very very nice to have so we're gonna go ahead and keep two wands in. And I'm gonna put up a uh, I'm gonna put up a shield because if uh, if we can keep letting him use three pips on a minion and I use two pips, we're winning over time. So there he goes again with the minion. We'll uh, definitely go ahead and kill that. Go ahead and enchant a Krampus. Okay. Um. Now the minion, from what I know. It's either pro it's probably gonna blade or it's going to um, it's gonna hit me with like a one pip spell. So luckily we drew the fire elf very fast. We're gonna go ahead and use that. It'll take off our weakness and uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. Critical. There we go. All right. Looks like uh, I don't know what he's doing right here. Shielding up. All right. So, I think right now what we're going to do, go ahead and fire blade. I think that'll be our best opportunity right here. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and fire blade. I was just double checking if I um, should have drawn for anything, but I think we're fine here. So, he's got the infection on. We both are tower shielded. Um, my pip's better advantage, so... Uh, we should be in a good spot right here. This is on himself. Ooh, the ice bubble. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to try and take that down. Oh, we are getting very lucky today, you guys, With uh, in terms of my hand. Go ahead and put that right up. Alright. Yeah, with ice guys, the bubbles, you want to have bubble control with uh, with ice. It's just massive damage. And uh, good thing I've been holding on to this wand here. 
I'm actually going to hold on to the Sun Serpent, too. Um, let's go ahead and Blade before we get everything off, just in case he decides to use a Storm and Fire Shield. You know, I'll get everything off, why not? So, we'll go ahead and Blade up. Um, I'm definitely going to want to use Shrike when I hit on this guy, because it will pierce through pretty much a lot of his stuff here. And I think those are the same. Yeah, those look like the same, so don't really need that right now. Let's go ahead and wand hit all this off, all this junk. There's the weakness. Tower shield. Okay, yeah, so those were the same. Good call from me, taking that off. I think he's shielding again, actually. Oh, minion, okay. Alright, so there's the minion. We're going to have to incorporate a Sun Serpent into this. Fire Elf, we're going to save for right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Blade again, I think. Yeah, Blade again. Alright, what we can do right now is we can start going for a hit. So, I might infall, and I think I'm actually going to. Yeah, we're going to infall, hope for a strike next, and then uh, we'll start spamming them. So yeah, this is... I like this about um, my thing a lot better. My power pips, as you can see, are better. Alright, so blade on him. That minion will definitely take off of... Um, will definitely take off my shield right now. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, let's go ahead and blade. That way we can do a multi-hit on him. And uh, that'll work out in our favor. So yeah, he uh, put up a fortify indicating that he's probably not going to be hitting me anytime soon. And uh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Alright, so now let the spamming begin. We're going to go... Or, see, we got to find a, uh, a strike up. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and give him a wand hit. Take off his tower. Because by the looks of it, he does have a lot of resist. Block. Wow, we just crit on that wand hit. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Alright, we're probably going to want to elf. He's playing very defensive. Very interesting hand right now. Hmm. I'm debating if we should blade right now. Or if we should just... Yeah, well, why not? Let's just blade. I'm going to keep blade stacking. Getting uh, very, very high damage here. Because I feel with him... He's definitely going to want to Seder and heal up if we do attack him with slow hits. And with his resist, it'll keep him alive while he's doing that, so. That minion's fizzling. We got a power link up. And a wand. Alright, well, we don't need those. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a power... Ah, uh, infall maybe? No. Yeah, right there I was hoping for an infall, but we didn't get it. So, I'm going to go ahead and power link. Um, yeah, we'll see how this does here. If we can critical, maybe. That'd be amazing. Sadly, we didn't find a strike yet, but uh, this is a very good power link we got here. Block that, too. Yeah, he's got very, very good resist. Very good. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to incorporate Shrike in uh, hitting with this. Hmm. I'm not sure if he did that, or... I don't think he would... Oh, wow. Because there are Maycast Sanctuary pets. Which is why I'm very curious right now. 
Okay. Um, not gonna Sun Serpent. I'm going to use a... And if we can infall now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start cramp spamming. Use the TC one. Um, don't need that right now. Let's try and get some um, of my main deck cards rolling in here. Alright. I'm expecting him to shield or heal. Uh, th he does have an infection on. Let's see how this hit does. We just crit on him. Alright. There we go, Krampus. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm underestimating some damage right now. Alright. This is on me. The minion's gonna be hitting me with probably Shark or Ice Cat, okay. <clears throat> Took off my tower. That's okay. We got 50 resist to him with my gear set up. Um, yeah, we just won, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Sun Serpent right now. Even though King Art would be a smarter decision. Hmm. Let's go ahead and Sun Serpent for you guys. So, yeah, I'm really actually enjoying Fire PvP. I've been, um, you know, just playing around with some strategies, thinking in my head what I can do. Um, my ice actually is currently being leveled. It's just started Dragon Spire, so he's almost level 50. And, uh, yeah. Got some pets for you guys for hatching, all that stuff. But, um, GG. To, um, Daniel Troll. We got 16 points from that. Well, he was a very high rating, but, um, yeah, six, level 65, as you guys can see. Um, unfortunately, that's the way PvP is sometimes uh, when you click try all opponents. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get back to you guys. Um, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to look how long that match was, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back from that match. But um, I looked at the time. It was around 10 minutes long. So um, what I decided to do was just I'm going to show you guys my ice, um, how he's been doing, and uh, what he currently is, um, you know, his status. So... Right now, he is level 37. Um, I think he has to defeat Cyrus Drake. Yeah, go to Myth Tower. So he has to defeat Cyrus Drake. So what I'm going to be doing for you guys is I'm going to go ahead and go defeat Cyrus Drake, and uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about my plans in terms for my ice. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, we'll make a deck right now for Cyrus. Um, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, we'll do some frost bites. Minion. Okay. So uh yeah. Alright, so yeah guys, um for my ice right now, uh I currently have a double damage triple critical pet. He's a flying squirrel. And I also am making one right now. Which is uh, Sir, Co Sir Cody, he's a polar cat. Um, I'm hoping that he gets a critical and then a uh, another damage so I can have triple damage, double critical. So just so I can have some variety on my pets, uh, you know, it helps a lot. So one second here while I go ahead and put on some more stuff. Bubble. Okay. So yeah. Um, this video, I hope you guys enjoyed that fire PvP. I'm actually really enjoying it myself. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And, uh, so yeah. Cyrus Drake, he's got 5k health. Alright, so, pretty much for now, what I'm going to be doing is. With this ice, what I plan on doing is when I get to level 50, what I'm going to be doing is. I'm gonna go PvP and record a lot of videos for you guys, and it's kind of gonna—it's gonna be something sort of like a something to Warlord. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it, but we're gonna do something like that. And then after we get to Warlord on my ice, 
I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to level 100. That way we can uh, switch up the strategy, and um, you guys can see it on both ends of how we're gonna be doing this. So I think that you guys will enjoy that, and uh, I know I will. I'm having fun with it. Uh, you guys are really showing a lot of support, and uh, I cannot thank you guys enough. So for now, we're gonna be doing storm and fire pvp until he gets to level 50 right here and uh yeah 69 damage there you go <laughs> so yeah when i quest guys i honestly I don't, I don't know how i don't like set up my deck a certain way i just set it for each boss and i go from there so incorporate tc a lot stuff like that love that I do know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to need to get a uh, Jade Pet for you guys. So that shouldn't be too hard considering uh, a lot of people can help me with that. Can, like, Lewis can help me with it. I know he's got some good Jade Pets. So that'll be awesome. I'll get you guys that. Alright. Um, I'm just going to go for a multi-hit. I, I want to find my um, Ice Bubble before I hit. If you guys are curious what I'm doing. I swear though, I get more power pips on this guy sometimes than I do on other characters with like 70 power pip chance. And he only's only got like 20. <laughs> so yeah, what um when I get to level 50, I think I'm gonna do some tournaments and stuff like that till I get my uh till I get enough tickets to buy the warlord gear. And I just crit that. Okay, well, this ice is a little OP right now. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Warlord gear from the, um, from Diego. It'll just be easier in the long run to do so. And, yeah. With the, with the Warlord gear is very, very overpowered for low level PvP, just because it gives you absolutely everything you can ask for in gear. You know, resist, damage, accuracy is the three main things. Um, and it actually does give you some critical and block. Because uh, I will be getting the wand for all that. I'll show you guys the gear and deck setup when that comes to it. And yeah. So, we got two blades and a bubble. And I think my amplifier ran out. Unless I didn't even use it yet. I don't, I don't know. I thought I would just talk to you guys while I do this boss fight, just because um, it is kind of a important storyline quest. You know, just before you go to Dragon Spire, which was the uh, ending of Part One, Arc One, actually, not Part One, Arc One for Wizard 101. So that's always enjoyable to watch again. Just boosting up right now. Alright, we'll go ahead and frostbite. Unless we can get an amplifier right here. Oh, uh, right here. Right here. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna spam hits now. Frostbite, there we go. So yeah, um, definitely guys, let me know in the comments down below whatever you're thinking. Um, I was reading a lot of the comments before I decided to do, kind of talk to you guys right here. And a lot of you guys said level 50, and a couple people said level 60, but then some people argued back and said that the waterworks for ice is not that good. So I, uh, I double checked it, and um, I do agree with the guys that said level 60 waterworks is not the best uh, so I decided to do level 50 and then we're gonna do a hundred kind of like the halfway point of uh, PvP 50 and 100 so that'll be fun let me know what you guys think about that alright let's see here um, let's go ahead and icebird I don't know I 
Ice Spread is a really good spell. And like high level PvP. I don't know why, but it does mass if you crit on it. Because like, when my storm goes against aggressive ice, I have a really hard time defeating them. So, when I get to level 100 on this character, I think that's going to be something we'll be doing. Uh, we'll be aggressive ice. And then we'll also do defensive ice. We'll switch up the strategies. Because uh, ice, you can pretty much do... A lot of people argue that it's not really a spamming school. And it, it, it isn't. It's not meant for it at all. But if you have the right gear and you you play right in the PvP, it can it can do a lot, so I think we're gonna try that out down the line. And um yeah. So we're almost nearing twenty five hundred subscribers guys, and I'm probably gonna be doing a video announcing something. Um I'm still debating what I'm going to be announcing. I have some ideas in my head for you guys. Uh, what we can do. So, I will be doing that. We'll try and get this Ice Wave in. I think this will kill him. Two blades at bubble in there. Okay, double fizz. There we go. <laughs> we will try and end this. <laughs> Storm Shark in me. Okay, third try, third 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 times the charm. There we go. Okay, so yeah, guys, um, I think this is gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, we'll go ahead and see what he says, but yeah. Oh wow, that did a lot. Okay. All right, there we go, guys. This is my Ice Wiz. Uh, this pet will definitely be um, hatchable down the line. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably looking for ice attack stool uh, pets for them. So that's awesome, guys. Remember to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video, guys. Subscribe to stay tuned, and we will see you guys in the next PvP episode or announcement for 2,500 subscribers. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.